Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot, and uh, I got a little bit of news today. It's uh, There's some bad news, there's some good news uh, for the channel. There's, there's a lot of stuff. I needed to make an update video. It's been a little while since I've done one of these. There's a couple uh, series that we need to talk about going on on the channel and things like that. New, ZB, new DBZ stuff, old things uh, that I need to bring back up because I still get asked a lot about them and things like that. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So a lot of you guys probably clicked on this video uh, because of the title, and it mentions the Fukatsuno F Premiere. And this is the bad news. This is the bad news that I'm going to lead with. Um, something happened with the premiere. I don't know what the deal was, but we were told. I was doing uh, all, everything pretty much through Rhymestyle, right? Rhymestyle was like, hey, this is the setup. They want us, I mean, you know, they want us to come to this thing. Um, we got to cover our own flights, but that's no big deal. And then we get to go to the movie premiere of Fukatsuno F, which is going to be this weekend. It's uh, the 11th. It's going to be this weekend. So we were going to uh, fly out. We're going to stay the night at. Uh, at Tucker's, or a lot of you guys know him as Jericho if you pay attention to his YouTube or anything like that, and then we'd go see the premiere, and then I would fly back home the next day. It would, it's a little one-day trip, but we would get to go to the premiere. I was looking forward to uh, meeting Christopher Sabat again. Sean Schimmel was something I really... I've never met Sean Schimmel, and that sounds really fun. Uh, and just being in a movie premiere and seeing the movie before everybody else does, I was really looking forward to that. But <coughs> something, uh, somewhere along the line, something happened, and it kind of threw a wrench into the whole mix. So uh, they originally told us, or they originally told Dino... Uh, the premiere was at 8 p.m., a natural time for a movie premiere. It's like at 8 p.m. And since this is a little one-day trip, I kind of just went for the, or we both kind of just went for, like, the cheapest flights we could find. And the cheapest flight for me happened to be, happened to have me landing at 2. Well, Rhyme Style was going to land at, like, 2.30, so we were going to be able to land all, almost the same time, meet up, and then go from there. And something, somewhere along the line, something went down. I don't know if, uh, if one of the actors had to change times, like they couldn't make it to a certain time, so they had to change the movie premiere time, or what happened, or the theater, something or other, I don't know, but bottom line, somewhere along the line, the time was changed, and this was just recently, this was just the other day, so now the premiere is at noon, and again, the problem with that being that Rhymestyle and I don't fly in until 2, <coughs> and uh, like we said before, they pretty much used all their money to fly the actors and like the real important people, you know, fly, fly the real important people out there to get to the movie premiere, so they don't really have a budget to spend on us at all. Uh, and with our flights coming in at 2 o'clock, the premiere's already over by that time. So in order for me to change my flight, uh, it would have cost me like $1,000 just to change my flight to a time that we could actually get to the premiere on time with. So it would have cost me $1,000. So I, un very unfortunately, I'm very sad to say, will no longer be going to the movie premiere of Cots and OF. And it does make me sad because it was something I was really looking forward to. Um, you guys will still get coverage, though, is the good news, because uh, Rhyme Style, living in California, he lives like eight hours away from the premiere, but he still lives in California, so for him to switch his flight, it was a little bit cheaper. So Rhyme Style is still going to be going. Uh, I might be wrong on this, but I think Afro Senju is going to be there, so you guys are definitely still going to get coverage of that. You're not losing coverage. Um, but I will no longer be able to go because I live over halfway across the country, and for me to make the change, it would cost me $1,000. And that's, that's the bad news that I want to get out of the way. And just because I know I have people who will do this, <coughs> excuse me, or who who will at least consider doing this? I'm not uh, looking for anyone to like Thundershot. I can. I mean, I'm not looking for anybody to donate. Uh, enough. I've already canceled my ticket. It's already done. I don't think I'm even getting a refund. And my ticket was already expensive. That's the killer part. It was already expensive for me to get this ticket, and then it would have cost me a grand more to upgrade to a ticket that lands two hours earlier or four hours earlier. I, I had. I was pretty open minded about this shit, but yeah, it would have cost me. A lot. It would have cost me over a grand. I'm not looking. I've already canceled my ticket. There's no. I'm just. I'm not going anymore. So I. I know there are a few guys out there. A few of the real Thundershot supporters with some extra dough who were like, "Well, we can donate. We can get you out there." Now I'm not looking for it. It's not worth anybody's money for me to have to pay an airline a grand to just fly out to L.A. for a day and come back. All right. I appreciate it, but there we go. So I'm no longer going to the Forgotten OF premiere. Um. And now I guess we can move on to the good news. Ah, we'll end with a little bit more. It's not bad news. It's definitely not bad news, but it's something. Um, this was going to be an update video that was going to say, hey guys, I'm going to be gone this weekend at the premiere, and then when I get back, I'm going to be moving, and that's still true. I'm going to be moving very soon, hopefully within the next week or two, uh, at the earliest. Um, <coughs> so there might be some shaky time period there. I just wanted to kind of point out an update there. There might be a shaky time where I don't stream for a few days or, uh, have any uploads for a few days or anything like that because I am going to be moving apartments. Uh, I'm actually moving from an apartment. I think I'm going to get a house. It's going to be so cool. This apartment, I've been living in this shitty one-bedroom tiny apartment since before I started YouTube. And it's going to be really nice to get a big place. I'm going to get a puppy. I'm going to make puppy vlogs just so you guys are ready for that. It's not going to be like, oh, look at how cute he is. It's going to be, I'm going to be teaching this dude to like get me vanilla Cokes from the fridge and shit like that. And I'm, I want to make I want to make vlogs with a dog. In. I'm going to get a dog. I'm excited. I had townhouse, going to have a yard, all this shit. So I, it's, I'm, not, I'm not having like the worst week of all time. I'm bummed about the premiere, but I'm, I'm going to manage. There's some good things coming our way. Um, so like I said, I'm going to be moving, so I'll... If you follow me on Twitter, the link... Sorry, my microphone fell over. 
If you follow me on Twitter, link to that will be down below. Uh, I'll tweet out like when I'm moving and what's going on and why there's no uploads or things like that. Or maybe if I'm lucky and it gets planned right and everything, I'll have internet the very first day I move out. That would be ideal. But uh, yeah, that's the idea. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. Once again, follow me on Twitter if you want to know for sure. But if I ever just don't stream for a couple days or no uploads for a couple days in the next couple weeks, that is it. Uh, on top of that, we got very, very, very exciting channel news moving forward. So as you guys know, before Xenoverse came out, I slacked off a lot. Uh, it was January, right? And I slacked off for a couple reasons. Number one, I knew Xenoverse was going to be out. And when Xenoverse came out, I was going to be making a lot of videos. And I was making a lot of videos. I still am, kind of. <coughs> but number two, the reason I slacked off back in January uh, was ad revenue for YouTube dipped so fucking hard that if I was ever going to take a break, if I was ever going to give myself a real break from YouTube during the year, it's in January because that's when it, ad revenue is just garbage. So it worked out really perfect that I got to kind of take a break, get a breath of fresh air. Uh, before going fucking hard in the paint when Xenoverse came out. And that's also when ads was shitty anyway, so I wasn't losing a whole lot uh, financially, which isn't, you guys shouldn't give a shit about that. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. Um, but then again, this last couple, these last couple weeks, I kind of, I was sick, and my sleep schedule was very off, and I had a couple other things going on, so I didn't upload for a little while, but that is back now. And aside from this move, now that I'm not going to the premiere anymore, aside from this move that's coming up, I have a lot of content that is about to start coming out. We definitely have Dragon Ball Z stuff still on the way. DLC Pack 2 is going to drop. There will be a playthrough of that on YouTube. There will be live streams of that. But uh, Dragon Ball Z Fights officially coming back. Uh, I recorded, uh, we live streamed some of that stuff last night. I'm going to start cutting those videos up. Those things are going to be uploaded uh, here within the next week or two, week or so. Somewhere in that, Dragon Ball Z Fights, The we can't do CPU versus CPU anymore, so instead... I have players, and I just have some of my subscribers get on, and I tell them who I want them to be, and then they just go at it. It's fun. It's fun for me to commentate. It's fun for them to do. Excuse me. I needed a drink of water. Uh, but yeah, it's a real good time. We had a couple really good, really close matches. I think I'm only going to upload... I'm not going to upload all of them. I'm just going to upload the really good ones, like where two guys go at it, and it's a close match, or there's some kind of big comeback, or something cool happens. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, I'm only gonna upload the close one. So it'll be anytime you see a fights video Just know it's probably gonna be pretty fucking bitchin and click on that and uh, outside of that we have playthroughs coming back uh, I am really 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 late on uploading my Super Mario Galaxy Super Luigi Galaxy playthrough um, I recorded that like two or three weeks ago, but I've, I've just had some stuff going on And it is also for whatever reason extremely difficult for me to get that playthrough in particular off Twitch and onto YouTube There's a lot of there's extra recordings that I'm gonna have to do. There's a lot of extra steps I have to take so I really haven't been looking forward to it, and I've kind of been postponing it, like pushing it off, dragging it out, because I know it's going to be a pain in the ass, but that's going to be coming very soon. And then I'm also going to have an Ori in the Blind Forest playthrough coming out. And uh, after that, after Ori, I've already got all this shit lined out. I'm going to uh, go borrow my parents' Xbox, and we're going to have the Banjo-Tooie playthrough. I'm going to be doing Banjo-Kazooie live streams, Banjo-Tooie playthroughs, and whatnot. Um, just occurred to me this video has gone on incredibly too long, especially for me to have the background image that I do. Uh, there was one more thing I wanted. Oh, Ask FM videos. Ask FM videos are coming back soon. I haven't done one of those in a long time, and I need to. They're easy for me to do, and it answers you guys' questions a lot. Uh, if you don't know what that is, just keep an eye out for the Ask FM video. It'll all be explained there. And then last but not least, I need to address Chow Garden. Guys, I've addressed this in a couple of videos before, but I still get asked this question regularly in live streams, so I just need to say it. Uh, I had capture card issues a couple months ago, around the time Chow Garden stopped. I had really bad capture card issues, and my, my Hophog HD PVR 2 wouldn't work with my computer anymore. Uh, so I bought a new one, and then that new one didn't work because of my CPU. For some reason, the shitty capture card only worked with i7s or some bullshit like that. And my CPU was an AMD. It's an 8-core AMD, but because it was AMD, it wouldn't work. Um, and then I finally got an Avermedia LGP Pro, and I was so happy when it finally worked because I got it just in time for... I think I got it just in time for Xenoverse. I might be wrong, but I got it just in time to be able to record uh, things off my PS4 that I wanted to record. It works great for the PS4. It works great for the Wii U. In fact, I can even use some of the capture uh, software stuff on my computer when I record straight from this computer and it's all awesome but the downside is that for whatever reason I had some weird audio issue where it did not want to work with the PS3 at all and guys if I hadn't tried I'm not gonna say it's impossible but I will say I tried for like six straight hours to get Chow Garden to work and to get to get my capture card to record off of the PS3 and it wouldn't do it there was always this audio issue there was always this audio thing that made it completely unwatchable so that is why Chow Garden's gone I can't say it's impossible that it'll ever come back with this capture card, but I can say it is just a huge uh, pain in the ass, and I have. I've tried. I've tried really hard to make Chow Garden come back, and it's just I can't get it to work with this capture card, but this capture card works great for everything else. So the downside is is that no PS3 games until I find out how to figure that situation out, including Chow Garden, but I want Chow Garden back as much as you. But that's just that was just me explaining that. Um, 
no, this is just a quick update video. Um, just to kind of fill you guys in on everything that was going down. Keep an eye out for future playthroughs, guys. I'm really looking forward to uh, uploading the Super Luigi Galaxy and Ori. I did... I'm not using the one that I got from live stream. I, I recorded Ori in the Blind Forest in 1080p, fixed 60 frames per second, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. So keep an eye out for those things coming out, DBZ fights, everything that I mentioned in the video. Follow me on Twitter, link down below. I want to thank you guys coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, as always, I'm Thundershot, and I'm out. Peace, guys.